going on, Virgo? How y'all doing? Y'all. I can't even lie. I'm not off track. I'm very, very alert in a protective kind of way this morning. Um, so I don't know if this is a Virgo thing or if this is a collective thing, but... Just be watchful. Keep your eyes open. And be more so watchful spiritually. There's a need for an abundance of spiritual protection. Protection in your dreams. emotional protection thanks to angels ancestors and spirit guides angels ancestors spirit guides what messages do you have for Virgo today Virgo Virgo energy Virgo energy Virgo Virgo what messages are for the Virgo Virgo Virgos, you have to be more hopeful. Be more hopeful. Virgos, be more hopeful. Be more hopeful. Surround yourself around less greedy people so I don't know if you've been dealing with somebody that has been like really greedy I don't know if greed has been trying to peek its head through you um, via other people but spirit is saying you have been around some greedy people I don't know if this is greedy family members greedy family members like draining you possibly i don't know if this is work related virgo um a boss or somebody that holds some type of authority um in your family and this doesn't have to be like your immediate family like it doesn't have to be like your immediate family within your household or it, it may be have to do with your immediate household. It could be maybe your husband, a spouse, brother, I don't know, anybody in your home is like draining you. I don't know if you're giving and giving and giving or if just the energy around you is just surrounded around you so much so that it's like draining you and you don't know where it's coming from. Surround yourself around less greedy people, Virgo. Like, seriously, just mentally. Yeah. I don't know if you've been celebrating, but this cups is in reverse. So I don't know if you've been celebrating with people or connecting with people or um, just hanging out, you know, being amongst the nightlife. Uh, and it's just and you just been doing that with the wrong with the wrong crowd. They have like a greedy undertone to them, you know. 
really not there for the celebration, but really there for the, the reward and what they could get. Virgo, just know that you you know your people that are just always there. They're not always there, you know, for the rewards, for the entertainment, for what, you know, the glitz or whatever. But they're always there holding space, you know, watching maybe, not necessarily, they could be, you know, watching you from a distance. Not in like a stalkery manner, but just out of love, out of admiration. You know, at a just adoring and appreciating and and loving what you do, or but just you know, kind of in their shell. I'm telling you, Virgo, there's something with with be hopeful, and also you know, people watching, they're watching with love. You know, just hoping for the best for you, hoping that you'll achieve, and hoping that um. Attaining a certain recognition. And I'm just feeling like there's others that don't necessarily hope for the same with the Seven of Wands. I, I think this is you. I think this is you. This is you. This is a need for you to, you know, against against certain type of people, hold on to those those, you know, that shield. And don't necessarily you don't have to have a guarding your heart necessarily because you want to lead with your heart space, but just put it up kind of step out and do things on your on your own terms do things on your own with the seven of wands strength card here so I got two of disc I got four of cups so Virgo I feel like there's something that has been brought to your attention something that I feel like this is causing you worry, causing you, you know, a bit of turbulence, causing maybe rocky times, imbalanced times, anxiety, maybe. I don't know if this is a matter of some type of contract or some type of, you know, financial agreement, something that has to do with balancing out your finances, maybe. Um, I 
I feel like there's something that you're not seeing. You know, naturally, in any circumstance, you want to hold on to a certain level of strength. Or you could be dealing with, like, a Leo energy. There's something or someone you're going to have to walk away from. There's something or someone that you're going to have to walk away from that's draining you. That's draining you. Somebody that's greedy. Yeah, somebody that's greedy. This is you. Look at this. It's all back out on the board. Somebody that's greedy. You got somebody that's that's a little bit greedy. Maybe a little stalkerish or a little, you know... walk away you have to put an end of this situation there's got to be an end to this situation dim that light put put an end to cover you know whatever this is that that flower is it's not I feel like that's like a poison or something put an end to that with this will of fortune because this is whatever it is that's draining you virgo it's got you in your energy but in the reverse it's got you it's still your energy but it's in the reverse you're no longer being the boss that you are this could be past energy this could be current energy or this could be your future So we know that there's something draining your energy, Virgo. We know that there's something. We know that there's something and someone you have to walk away from. That's a greedy energy that's surrounding you. What would be the outcome? What would be the outcome? The greatest outcome? The po most positive outcome? The most lasting outcome? Maybe the most creative outcome? The most beneficial outcome for Virgo if they left this greedy person, this greedy individual? Hey, Queen of Swords will be the best outcome for Virgo. Things, angels, and ancestors. And mind you guys, I don't, maybe I should just for the camera, just for the viewer, but I don't always jump in here and, you know, say a prayer just because I, before I get on here, I'm making sure I'm constantly speaking to source truth, my angels, and ancestors, and protectors to, you know, allow me to be here allow me to be a vessel allow me to give the the best readings as possible so like there's already a prayer talk meditation session that's happening prior to this so i, I do apologize and i, I might need to because usually sometimes i'll you know call in my circle of protection and my circle of love and everything on camera but i didn't do it today and i'm sorry so Virgo, um, what would your likely outcome be by leaving this greedy person alone? I'm hearing, first off, you will be able to make choices and sow seeds 
with like your own wisdom you don't have to hear you know you don't have to hear nobody else's opinions it'll be you know all you it'll be you making the decisions finalizing you know um coming to certain agreements on your own in regards to money i don't know if this is a significant other but it will be you is i'm hearing you are the determining factor you are the determining factor it's somebody that's greedy around you i think that's pretending yeah this is a matter of it's somebody that's around you that you are not aware of you are not aware of like literally like this is it's like you don't you don't see it you don't get it you're not getting it i'm also feeling like you're overlooking it once again there's somebody pretending i'm telling you there's somebody pretending 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 to honor you pretending to value you pretending like there's somebody very very pre like they're pretending they're causing they're causing this they're causing you to attract this they may i don't know if they're i don't know i don't know i don't know whatever i'm hearing you need to be the one to make the final decision you virgo needs to be the one to make the final decision Virgo, you need to be the one to make the final decision. Nothing else, no one else. That's what's called my smoothie else. You and Source Truth is wanting to pop out again. Source Truth. I'm also hearing who are you, who are you allowing to lead you? Who are who are you allowing? What 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 being, what supreme being are you allowing to lead you? This has something to do with the home. Virgo. Who are you allowing to let lead you? Like what? Who are you allowing, you know, um, to put thoughts and ideas, their their ideas, their thoughts in your head when you're the empress? But this empress is out in the reverse. You're the empress. This is the hermit card. You are the Virgo. You are the hermit. Like literally. seriously like this has to do with you know a foundation this could be the home life this could be something just something overall that's supposed to be solid for you and it's like a lot of conflict there's a lot of conflict Virgo spirit is encouraging you to take a deeper look take a deeper look with this temperance take a deeper look because she's really studying these cards like it's something that you're working on like literally something you know is causing a lot of just distress you know something that you could be working on you could just be trying to you know work to gain a level of peace a level of serenity a level of just getting out of a certain type of funk with these same swords these are the same swords here these are the same swords 
but this is you leaving behind the swords. These, some of the swords have sunk to the bottom. So it's something that you're trying to get to. Something that you're trying to get to. The birds. Remember your source. Remember your truth. Remember that. Stop denying what you hear about this individual. Stop denying what you hear about this individual. Literally. Like somebody that's trying to, you know, make agreements with you when it comes to your stable foundation and want to always want to know what's going on and you know um how can they benefit off of you situation is this a love situation show me what type of situation is Virgo in is this a love situation yeah this could be a symbolizing marriage this could be symbolizing a marriage this could be symbolizing a marriage something that you a marriage that you might want to work on a marriage that, yeah this has something to do with like a marriage what relationship is this what kind of relationship is this for virgo 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 what kind of relationship is this that virgo needs to step away from work a karmic a karmic job like that you're at virgo this could be work related as well virgo yeah it's like you can barely you can barely save you can barely you know save anything this is Yep, Virgo, you can barely you can barely save in your in your job, but spirit got better things literally. And this I'm telling you, spirit is wanting you to, to this is ending. This needs to end. This is the, the card of things completing, things coming full circle. It's there's an ending. Leave this in the past. Leave this in past times. Learn from this and leave it in the past, literally learn from this gain truth i'm telling you this is a work related situation this is this is either a work related situation um you two may have been married in a working relationship together or this has something to do with a marriage that is or a marriage or a union um you trying to fix a marriage or fix a union and it's it's messing up your money it's messing up your money, Virgo. Spirit is saying end it so you can come back. Because at first these cards was in the reverse when I first saw them together. Now they came out in the upright. Spirit is, is telling you to leave this person. Leave this situation. You've come to grips with, with what you needed to know. Now it's time for you to act and have hope through it all. Have hope through it all. Hold up the appropriate defenses. Hold up the appropriate defenses for the right people. You not, you literally... Hold up appropriate defenses towards the right energies and towards the right people. Um, that's all I got. I want. I don't really have time to do um, to do any um and any angel cards, but I will do that. That'll probably be like your your snippet, like of a little clip of 
what the reading will be about. Um, but if not, just hold on to the message because I, I honestly I do feel like that's that is enough. You got joy and passion coming to you, Virgo. So I'm going to end this right here. Let go of the conflict of leaving um, a certain greedy individual. You got joy and passion coming into you. All right, Virgo. Y'all have a good day. A good, good day. I'm in more of a... I'm in like my masculine energy right now. Like some shit is happening. When I feel like I need to get in a heavy, heavy spiritual protection mode, I'm really masculine. Hence my blue, um, my goons show themselves in blue. And I just, yeah. All right, Virgo. Get out of your head. I'm done. Guys, love y'all.